Well, welcome back to the Hell Yeah Podcast. Uh, I'm Tom. As always with me is my boy, Anthony and Bilal. Your single boy, Anthony and Bilal. Sorry, my boys, Anthony and Bilal. I misspoke. I apologize. Should have been plural. So let me do that again. As always with me are my boys, Anthony and Bilal, guys. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, baby. Thomas, are you coming guys, in hot. Are you guys hard as well right now? Oh, dude, I'm a little erect. I'm hard. I'm like, Just Noah talking, dude, gets me... Uh, I I know we made a pact, you guys, and I apologize. I apologize on the way here, but I know we said we weren't going to wear shorts on this podcast. But fuck it, dude. My dogs are out. I got my fucking. <laughs> I got my flip flops on. It's summer, baby. I just got back from vacation. I'm look how tan I am in this shot. Yeah, dude. dude we're fucking. It's it's summertime. We're wearing shorts. I haven't done, hit legs in a minute. We're having a good time. It's dude, good. Sick toes you got on there, buddy. You um. Uh, I'm not a big fan of. I'm not a big fan of feet. So I appreciate that you don't have like disgusting feet. No, you think he's got cute but feet? That, dude, you know what? That, you, know, what? Anthony, you do got you, you take care of your feet. They're cute feet, dude. You got cute feet. Um, thank you. But <laughs> that was weird. But the sure. way that you said that could have been an oxymoron because you said I'm I not. had a cousin who was an oxymoron. That was once. Tom's nickname in high school. Oh, deed. But um, oh, oh Jesus Christ. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> you said I'm not a fan of feet. And I really like that you take care of your feet. So if you were a fan of feet, you would care more about my feet. Response? Mm. Is No, but dude. Uh, um, dude, why don't you suck sit, his toes right now, dude? That, to me, is the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. So, Tom, um, dude, I've seen some people this summer, a lot of dogs are out. I've, woof, woof. I've seen some people with some terrible feet, bro, at bars, just... Fucked up feet. Dude, well, this is a funny story. One time, uh, we had our exit meetings from college baseball. Did yeah. you have those for lacrosse? Or yeah. Did, did they even care? The uh, <laughs> they, We would all line up in the first in the third base dugout, and the coaches were in the thir- first base dugout. So we'd all wait for our turn, and they'd call you over. My friend went before me, and my friend Brandon Mulrooney, if you're watching this, has disgusting feet, dude. Uh. He was the best player on our team disgusting feet so we we watch him he's wearing flip-flops because he just he had no style and he walks up to the dugout and we just see all the coaches look down and t- point at his feet and they're talking and laughing about his feet and then he comes back and they're like how we're like how was your exit meeting he goes they just talked about my feet the whole time he was, he, was, he was our captain he was the best player on the team like there was nothing to say about him except his feet you, ever, you got fucked up feet dude it was, it was, like disgusting you ever bro. seen a chick with like hammer toes oh what do you mean dude, oh, dude. i know you're t- when they're like fucking what? crunched no no dude hammer toes dude it's like when you got the foot straight and then the big toe goes off at like a 45 degree angle you said just chicks or can guys have it too i don't know dude i only ever seen it on chicks I don't, to be honest, bro. You guys know what I'm talking about? Hammer toe? I don't. We can't talk to Noah this early in the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I um, don't look at girls' feet much. Uh, can, can we bring up a picture of hammer toe? <laughs> Dude, Is that possible? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we, we, we spent an extra 15 minutes getting this pod going. This set I up, and now we're a minute in, you're having to pull up hammer toes. But I feel like it's important to what, what I, I need you guys to get a visual. I, I can imagine. Dude, I just like, I hate feet so much. Like, you know that scene? I don't hate feet. Type you know the scene in 40 Year Old Virgin when she's like, you know, it'd be hot if I suck on your big toe and he <laughs> kicks her in the face? Yeah. Dude, I would do that if a girl tried to suck. I hate. Don't oh, yeah, touch me, my feet, honestly, dude. Bro, me too. I'd, yeah, it's, honestly, it's bro, probably. Skeevy, dude. <laughs> Pull this up. Yo, Is it no. up on there? All right. Jesus Christ. What are we? All right. Let's. Oh, my God. Wait. I think we saw it. It was there for a second. Dude. Wait. I ca- yeah. Dude, I'm seeing it from, All a, right. I'm seeing it from a fart. You dude. know what, dude? Maybe. We, I don't know. If we, dude, yeah, dude. That's a hammer toe right there, dude. dude. That's, that's you've seen fucking, somebody with this? Dude, that's not. Okay. Dude. But that usually, is, usually. Mutilate. That's all, a mutilated foot, bro. Usually all the toes, like, they kind of follow suit. But that one, that guy's got a big hammer on the... <laughs> Dude, it looks like someone's crossing their fingers, bro. <laughs> it's like for good luck when somebody's no, like, I'm, I'm like, crossing my toes. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Oh, that's gross, dude, dude. it's like when the Bills go to the Super Bowl every year. They're like, fuck, yeah. it's us, dude. Yeah, bro. So that's hammer You've toe, seen dude. people with that? I've seen, yeah, dude. But dude, like, a girl? It, yeah, you, but it doesn't cross like that. That's so good. Dude, I would dude. rather my foot. <laughs> it's I would shit. get done. Get rid of it, dude. Get rid of it, dude. Fellas. Dude. <laughs> oh, no. I would. Oh, no. Honest to God, bro. I would rather amputate my foot than have that. 
I honestly think really? that is so good. I'd rather yeah. amputate my foot than have a but toe now, looking like that. Like, now I'm really hard. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's what I'm fucking talking about right there, bro. Some straight up hammer toes, dude. Dude, hammer toes. Hell yeah. All right, dude. With that note, Bilal, give me your hell yeah of the week, buddy. We're off to a hot dude, start. I think just that right there is my fucking hell yeah. That's your hell yeah, dude, hammer that's toes? Cheating. No, that's cheating. Uh, uh, did the Laugh Factory for the first time. Oh, Congrats, yeah, bro. dude. Congratulations. Yeah, dude. Thank you, dude. Right, very dope. Shout out, uh, shout out uh, Tehran. Tehran uh, put me on the Thursday show. How'd it go, bro? Did I mean it was awesome, man? T- Tehran opened up the show with uh, hour twenty, uh, which was impressive, and uh, <laughs> an hour and a half impressive. special to yeah. open the show. Yeah, dude. Honestly, that's comedy stamina right there. If I were oh, yeah. seeing it, and he still had enough to do uh, like ten minutes in between each set. That's crazy. Which was fucking amazing. I was Good like, shit. damn, dude, I want to be able to write jokes like that. That's what do you say? He said you, you've 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 got something special, or you've got he, it. You know, I, I did well, dude. I did pretty well, Good shit, and bro. Uh, uh, mainly because uh, the person before me didn't do very well. <laughs> what was uh, God, her name? God, not, yeah, hey, I'm not who was it again? It. Yeah, uh, God bless uh, him or her. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, dude, he was really nice. He's gonna have me back there next month. So you know, Laugh Factory, be on the lookout. Good shit, awesome. dude. Yep. yep. Hell yeah. Next stop. That's a good hell yeah. Chocolate Sundays, baby. Oh, yeah. yeah dude. Yo. That'd be, you, have to, you gotta apply for that, right? Well, you gotta be, you know, chocolate, which I am. Mm-hmm. All right. What's your hell yeah, buddy? Uh, dude, my hell yeah is uh, keeping my concert uh, series going. I got to see one of my favorite bands, uh, Fall Out Boy. Nice. Uh, oh, we go down, down, in an area around. Sugar, we're going down, swinging. Right. It was you fucking really sick, dude. Hard. Uh, <laughs> No, it was it was very cool, man. Uh, another one of my favorite bands opened up, Bring Me the Horizon. Nice. It's just like I'll be honest, man. It's you like that, Noah? You like Bring Me the Horizon? Did you cry? Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah, I cried, bro. What? I was fucking thanks for the so memories, hard. even if they went to stay. <laughs> it make you think your ex girlfriend or what? I called her during that song, you, dude. <laughs> you, you fucking guy, you cuck. Uh, no, dude, for real though. Hell, it, dude, it's. I don't know what it is. I love that this like old emo music's coming back, dude. It's great. I'm seeing some of my favorite bands, so that's my hell yeah, dude. It's, Let me ask keep you it this, going, dude. dude. Did you keep your streak of getting late at concerts alive? Did not do that, dude. Late uh, at concerts or from concerts? From concerts, bro. Uh, Instead, I went back. My roommate and I went back, smoked a little, and uh, watched and, the and flick, fucked bro. Each other. What'd you watch? Oh, uh, what sorry. did we? Oh, that's all right, dude. Yeah, sorry. Now I'm trying to think. It was what Euro Trip. Okay. Dude, classic. I, I feel like people don't know that. No, you ever hear of Eurotrip? Um, it's one of the best, dude. Dude, so I think like I wouldn't consider myself a huge Fall Out Boy fan. Mm-hmm. You said it's your favorite band? It's like one of. Okay. Definitely. I, I've, I've seen my favorite artists. In, I've seen probably all my favorite artists in concert multiple times, but I could almost guarantee you that if I was at the Fall Out Boy concert, that would have been my favorite concert of all time, too. No. I just feel like that's a great concert to go to. You know all the songs. Let me like ask you this. Child, is, you're growing up, you hear them all the time. This is a great segue. What is the greatest concert you've ever been to? Um, can I pause real quick? How do you think segue is spelled? A segue? Um, so it's spelled like the actual device. No. You would think. S-E-G-W-A-Y? But, nope. The way that we are using it Segway is spelled S E G U E. It's French. Uh, Segway. Dude, look at you, Scrabble champ. Dude, I'm a big, I am a big uh, spelling guy. I, I did a spelling bee in elementary school. Nice. You lose to an Indian. Won it. Um, beat the Indians. Oh uh, shit. I was also, uh, I beat the Indian kid that year, and I was on the Indians in Little League baseball, so it worked out. Wow. I was just they were the Guardians. Yeah. So I dots don't th- and feathers. I don't know if they planned that. I don't Happy know. Happy coincidence, dude. But anyways, yeah. to uh, segue uh, back to what you were saying, the best concert I've, you've ever been to, what is it? Me? Yeah. Personally? Oh, uh, dude. Uh, it's tied between um, the Dave Matthews Band oh. at uh, the uh, New Warriors Arena Jeez. and uh, also um, Tory Lane's. Where was that? Dude, Tory Lanez at, in Santa Barbara at the uh, Velvet Jones. Dude, Sick. Tory Lanez came to my college and performed. He's the best. And dude. he is four foot nothing. He's a little guy. They, he <laughs> stage dived, though, and they held him up. 
dude and when he 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 staged of and we held him up but it was by his feet really so he was standing up like walking through the crowd that's what not that's like sick. body surfing walking dude. through the crowd he started like climbing on the balcony and stuff now dave matthews on the other hand did that, the was same. Just, that was just a root tooting good time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Good well, time. Me and a bunch of Dave slaves. That's, dude, just, that's have, white people music, I have dude. Uh, two things to say to that. Yeah. First thing is I've seen Tory Lanez twice. The second time was in the Bay Area at the Shoreline Amphitheater. Oh, He was nice. climbing up yes. the, red, the fucking light post. He was like halfway up the light post. And he was like, the, it was like Tory Lanez, ASAP Ferg, Future, and the Migos. He was yeah. going on like first. Yeah. And it was like Damn. still daylight out. And he was up climbing. You don't the give thing. a fuck. Okay. The Velvet Jones in Santa Barbara is like, you can maybe fit like 70 people in there. Wow. That and it's like rocking. real intimate. Like Those are the best concerts. Like You can't go wrong with Tory Lanez. Yeah, dude. dude. I still bump Tory Lanez all there, the time. Dude. I went there with a the black chick. It was awesome. Dude. Nice. Yeah. My second thing I have to say to that is, um, guys, it's time to be real. Oh, uh, let's be real, you dude. Want, I, I've never partook, but you, you never know. Been, you guys don't, don't know what I'll be real is? I'll try anything twice. I know what be real is. I don't participate, though. You guys want to be in my be real during dude, the podcast? That'd be awesome. I thought you guys were going to be I'm jazzed for this. No, you I, guys dude, like, I, I feel like I'm dude. bothering you guys. I'm still, no, trying to figure out, I'm still trying to figure out threads, dude. So we go like this first. We do like this. Uh-huh. Get a little cool pose going. Then we go like that. Ah! That's sick, guys. That's sick. sick. Noah, next time, huh? Um, Wait, Anthony. So, what's the best concert you've been to? Um, so, this is a tough one, dude. This is a tough qu uh, question because I hadn't gone to a concert until like the very end, basically until I graduated high school, to the very end of my senior year of high school. And it was the Zach Brown band, and I had such a good time. I started going to a bunch of country concerts. I've seen all my favorites. I've seen Mike yeah. multiple times. I got called backstage for a Mike show. I've seen a. Uh, Everybody except for Drake, really. I've seen Migos. I've seen oh, Post Malone. It yeah. was dope. I've seen Russ. But probably my favorite Zach Brown band, bro. Wow. Dude, those country, the first, little country boy, the dude. The first, dude, those, uh, I saw Jason Aldean was dope. Uh, Keith Urban. All The summer before my first year of college, that was like the thing to do in the Bay Area. Mm. It was like go to short. There was like five country concerts that summer. And everybody from my school, my, my high school, would go down pre-game just get hammered and the for those who don't know shoreland amphitheater is like on the lawn yeah so it's like it's the best music it's where venue. i saw dave matthews band really yeah it's where i saw the practical jokers tour as well <laughs> uh, but you and a bunch of fucking grandmas from fucking dude, wyoming I mean all the boys went <laughs> all the awesome. boys and and my and my boy's uh sister so anyways that shoreland amphitheater is the best place in the world my favorite artist in the world top three is post malone at the time he was my favorite he was performing there, like probably summer 2018. My favorite venue, but I was out of town with my dad in Boston, and all my friends went. It was like the perfect storm of my favorite venue, all my friends, all my uh, my favorite artists. Post, and he brought 21. Wow, Dude, that would have been a crazy concert. I saw Post Malone in, New Year's 2015. Wow, it was early Post. And let me tell you how early it was. He did White Iverson to start, yep, and to finish, yep. I saw him at Made in America in 2000, summer 2015, did the same thing. Yeah. Wow. Started and finished with that. Yeah. Well, that's what um, a lot of people do do that with their huge songs. Like Mike did Rodman to start and finish, which I think you should do with your big songs like that. Yeah. But also Post Malone's story, 20, I think it was, this was uh, 2016. Me and my boys were huge Post Malone fans when it wasn't super cool to be a Post Malone fan yet. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people, I went to a small college. A lot of people knew that we were Post Malone fans. My boy that was on the soccer team turns around in class one day. And he goes, yo, I got two tickets to the Post Malone concert today. Do you and your boy want to go? Um, I can't go. I go, dude, amazing. We have a game tonight, but right after the game, we'll head over. He goes, dope, I'll, I'll send you the tickets. I check my phone after the game. He goes, hey, dude, sorry. I ended up giving the tickets to Valerie and Katie, two girls wow. on the volleyball team. Uh I'm sorry like they really wanted to go to and they asked me so I'm like I've never been more mad and more like what like the guy's a cool guy we're still friends but like that was like my freshman year and we were, so yeah we're still friends but that was a I was I hated that move going giving tickets to chicks that, instead of your boys that yeah. I hated that that's a while and that's that, a that did wild not sit well with make. me and I was very upset and then I knew a bunch of guys on the soccer team went and they were like, dude, it was amazing. They did every, he did every single song from Stoney. That was right when Stoney came yeah. out. Oh, man. He did every song from Stoney except for uh, 
Feeling Whitney, which I would not have missed. That's a good song. And it was the first time he ever played I Fall Apart. Wow. Which those videos of him playing I Fall Apart went crazy viral. Yeah. That, that made, dude, dude, this is how, this is a, I Just know so much fire, about Post Malone, bro. <laughs> fuel to the fire. When, when, that, when that album came out, I Fall Apart was like not at all a big song on the album. Not at all. That's fair. That's not fair. at all. There was like five songs that were more notable than I Fall Apart. Just from the videos that when he started going on tour, I Fall Apart started climbing up the charts, ended up being number one for a little bit on the charts. It was a, it was a huge song. Not like his best song in the slightest, but just good from, song. but just good song. Mm -hmm. uh, but just, that, I honestly, I listened to I Fall Apart probably like a week ago for the first time in like years. I, I was never a huge fan of it. My boy loved it. Uh, great concert song. I feel like we're losing steam with this conversation. I, you know, I feel no. like you're getting a little worked up here, Ant Dog. How am I worked up? No, you're worked up because you missed, you missed the concert and you're, you're bringing back negative. Oh, no, I've still seen him twice since then. Oh, I'll just say that specific one's bringing back negative emotions. And you know what? We didn't even get your hell yeah, dude. You want my hell yeah? I want your hell yeah to bring the mood back up, dude. Well, what's Tom's favorite concert? Oh, well. Come on. All right, I'll jump in. Uh, my favorite, I have uh, I have two. My senior year of high school, uh, we drove from Philly to Atlantic City, House of Blues at the showboat, because it was Wiz Khalifa right after Black and Yellow came out, and Mac Miller was opening up when he just dropped oh. kids. So it was like early on Mac Miller and Wiz Khalifa, and it was just, it, it was a Wednesday night. So many people from my high school, we all went. People stayed in the hotel. Uh, my, I'm, I'm so mad I didn't stay, but my buddy did, and Mac Miller came to his hotel room and asked for uh, for a blunt. Wow. Yeah, so that was definitely one of them. And then the so second one him. was uh, my sophomore year of high school. Uh, what'd you say? <laughs> you say he killed him, dude. <laughs> Fuck. So killed him, dude. Damn, bro. Fucking All right, anyway, that, uh, my second favorite one. Smoking that Philly no, weed, dude. No, it's funny. Um, you only get one, but the... the uh, uh, no, was, <laughs> Go. The... Uh, the funny the, the thing about that is Wiz Khalifa, I've heard, helps out just so many young cracker white rappers. Like so many young white rap. My buddy saw uh, <laughs> cracker yeah. white rappers. Yeah, years cracker. ago. Years dude, that's ago, Noah's rap name, of, dude. The young cracker. <laughs> yeah, young, cracker <laughs> white, yeah. young cracker, the white rapper. You guys ever seen Uncle Cracker in concert? <laughs> Play, plays, plays one song That's probably ten my times. favorite. Um, no, but dude, the uh, Wiz Khalifa, uh, my boy in Concord. You know where Concord in the Bay? Yeah, dude. Um, nine like the great nine two five. Yeah. Um, there's also a Concord in Massachusetts. Yeah, like the great. Uh, but dude, or like the Cotton Candy. Um, I just made that up. The, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, you fooled me there, dude. The, uh, I was like, yeah. He saw Jack Harlow open up for Wiz Khalifa years before Jack Harlow was famous. Oh. And um, what's his name? Uh, you know Huey Mack. You know Huey yeah. Mack. Huey Mack opened up for Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. So dude. it's like all these all these young random white rappers that just end up like Wiz Khalifa's got an eye for talent. Favorite Joe Rogan episode was Khalifa. Ah, interesting. Yeah, and, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, yeah, no, you're cool. Uh, and then I would say it's just a tie because then the, my second option is uh, Blink-182 when they reunited for the first time in 2010. And it was because <laughs> Panic at the Disco and Fall Out Boy opened up wow. for them. So it was like wow. Emo Tom's like ultimate concert. When wow. you say Emo though, bro, like Panic at the Disco seems like a happy... That's Very, like emo, right? No, dude, early on, that first album, it was considered emo music. Well, wanna have high yeah, that's that's, that, disco, right? that's, yeah, later. that's, that's later. later. Like yeah, I'm saying, still, like in two, yeah. like from like 2005 to like 2011. Is there, is there an emo were, like, song emo. from that era that I would know from them? The, I write since not tragedies yeah, would be the, the that whole album. That bum, 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 yeah, you know. Bum, oh, bum. Well, imagine. As oh I'm wow! You gotta do your hair. Do you no, I gotta do yeah. the hair of my? Yeah. I will say, Fall Out Boy, that was the best. Oh, I was going like this the whole time to my friends. I was like. <laughs> fucking cut my wrist and black my eyes. It didn't get old. Is that a lyric? Is that a Fall uh, Boy a lyric? It's a Hawthorne Heights lyric, so it's, oh, wow. it, it wasn't fitting. Hawthorne yeah. Heights. Hawthorne Heights. What the fuck yeah. is that? Super That's emo, bro. Where Ohio's Tom grew for up lovers. In Philly. Dude, Hawthorne <laughs> <laughs> Heights, bro. Yeah, is that dude. like L.A. Hawthorne? No, they're okay. from Ohio, Dayton, Ohio. Okay, sick. All nice. right, uh, what is your hell yeah? Now we're back to this. My hell yeah of the week um, is I have two that I could do. Okay, we'll pick one. Okay. <laughs> I got a new gym membership today. Oh, yeah, dude. boy's been hitting the weights. Got a new gym membership, and I'm pumped, dude. Now, I'm what pumped. did, now, I just, I want to throw, what did Noah say to you when he told him about your gym membership? I told Noah I got a new gym membership, and he said, nice, are you new to the gym? <laughs> oh, buddy, dude. Very rude. Noah, 
uh, very concisely, can you please tell me why you asked that question? Was it to be insulting and funny or were you genuinely curious and you were genuinely curious? Okay. So why were you, you being genuinely curious, does that mean I'm, you think I'm not in great shape? I just think that you're all natty. Okay. Thank you. Bro. You just came out of the womb like that. Oh, dude. That's sweet of you, bro. Yeah. yeah. You want to arm wrestle Anthony Noah? Yeah. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be horny. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got a new gym membership and, uh, I, um, you like it? I love it, dude. It's insane. It's the best gym I've ever been well, to. What's the gym, dude? The you gym is tell. called the gym is called Zoo Culture. It's, it's good, dude. To- I went today for the first time, kind of like, almost like reluctantly. Like I was like, I'm gonna try it, and then I ended. Why up Why do you got it? Why did you have to try it? Because I just I've been a, uh, I've been looking for a new gym membership, and it's cheaper than the other one I was gonna go to. But I did end up spending just dropping a bag today on this yearly. Ma- they got now, me with a yearly. It's, well, for those who don't know, the zoo culture, because I didn't know what it was. Yeah, zoo culture, it. it's a big um, Bradley Martin's gym, dope yeah. fitness. So it's like a YouTuber's guy. gym. Yeah, basically. I was going to ask. Kind of, but more... I don't think he like likes the YouTubers going there anymore. It used to be like huge, like Bryce Hall, those fucking guys would yeah, go there. I knew you would just see it all. You would just see all the time enemy. on on, uh, Dude, on used, Instagram. And stuff. They had more tripods than dumbbells. There was a ton of tripods. There. I knew there. I was. I, I was going to ask you. I don't, I don't. I don't mind it, bro. There was a lot of space, and everybody was nice. There was, you know, every, half the people had their shirts on, which I think is, it's a weight room vibe. I like, that's what I'm used to. I don't know if no one notices, but I, I play college base. I would, I would lift the weight rooms, dude. You know, so I'm used to, they're blasting good music. It's hot. You're we were, sweating. We were talking about no TVs, which I think is sick. No TVs. I, that's an interesting thing. I, I like the TVs, but now that I think about it, it's like, dude, I had the best workout from just lifting by myself. And it was, uh, it was great. I think it's a big fitness influencer gym. I think I should, uh. Become a fitness influencer? I should become a fitness influencer as a joke. How about that? No, should I do that? Just be a fitness influencer and the whole time uh, satirical. I think zoo culture is very... Uh, Noah thinks zoo culture is very... Um, very dude, uh, deep in thought. All right. You just think it's yeah, um? Noah. He's not in, Noah's not impressed with zoo culture. I, I, I um, listen. I think it's overhyped. Listen, Whoa. fellas, 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 Noah. fellas, fellas. I know where Noah's coming from. To each his own. I enjoyed it. I had a good time. Tell you what, dude. The only gym I know is Slim. Hey, oh. Yeah, dude. Come no, on. It was I don't even Should I do my other hell yeah? Was that weak? Uh, you know what? I, I Now I'm just curious. I want to hear what the second one was. My other hell yeah is... Um, so I was just thinking. Um, if I were... Not that I have ever. If I were to like smoke weed, um, I would have probably taken a break these past 10 days. Mm-hmm. Mm. And um, if I did take a break from smoking weed, which I don't even smoke weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Never. It would have changed my life in a good way, I think. And I think I would be seeing things way more clearly. I'd be (laughs) having way more energy. I'd be getting new gym memberships. You know, I'd be be just getting in good shape and just waking up and, and... and Noah loves this. And yeah, Noah's an anti drug kid, dude. Yeah, so am I, dude. You're top preaching to the choir, dude. dude. Yeah, dare. Preaching to the choir. Noah was in I, the choir. Yeah, were you in a high dare? School. Were you, you, you signed the dare letter? I no, signed you it. Signed the, you signed the I dare signed letter, the dare dude. Thing. It's in my, uh, it's in, uh, it's, so, it's rustling around in my underwear. Dude. Hypothetically yeah. speaking, yeah. in a world, in a world. Can I hit that? Sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hypothetically speaking, if you were to smoke weed, yes. If no, that, no, if no. that was a thing you did, why, why would you want to not tell people about it? Why would I want to not tell people? Yeah. I don't know why I wouldn't want to tell. Maybe that might be a better question for somebody who does smoke weed below. I, and you um, know what? I partake, as you can tell by my Ty Dizzle shirt. Yeah. Dude, I, that, I, that says smoke shop on it. Yeah. <laughs> Ziggy smoke shop. No, I partake, yeah. man. I dress, I dress more conservative. My shirt says OnlyFans. I tell but, people this, man. And I tell people this all the time. When I was in high school, I didn't really smoke weed. I was all about athletics, and I signed to a Division II college. I went there for one year, then I went to a junior college, and I started smoking weed every day, every day. And it was my recovery method, mentally and physically. And you know what I did out of that junior college? What'd you do? I went and got myself a Division I scholarship. Congrats. Smoking weed every day. Whereas in, co- where in high school, I was a good boy. I wasn't smoking weed. I was working lace. hard. You know, why well, do you think? See, I've never smoked weed, so why why would that have an effect? I hear it gives you munchies, so maybe you, you played center, you're cut, so maybe you got bigger, so maybe you true, needed that. True. Yeah. So maybe in your unique, I, I think, ca- in your very unique case, the gateway drug that you indulged in 
could have benefited you in the slightest. Well, let me tell you this. Also, and, freshman 15. And I, I only started smoking <laughs> weed because I, uh, my, my family's friends with the Diaz brothers. Oh, Nick nice. and Nate Diaz. Yeah. You know, my dad just went bowling with him last week. Dude. dude. That's weird. He's, Quick segue. Dude, yeah. we got to go bowling. I watched a movie, a TV show. They were bowling the other day. Bowling is, we stopped bowling, dude. Yeah. Bowling's fun bowling's as the hell, best. dude. Yeah. Bowling, bowling is sick. Bowling. I think I was watching the TV show thinking, thinking I could bowl a 300. Yeah. All right. Well, fuck me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fuck me Nate, and, uh, right up the pooper, huh? Dude, Nate Diaz is a guy I want to hang out with, though. Oh, all right. And double fuck me. All right. Awesome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to make that laugh. Uh, so I, 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 um, I would see those guys, and they were, at the time, the top athletes in, like, in the world. You know, triathletes, high level UFC fighters, and those guys smoked weed. Everybody knows that. You know, yeah. they smoke weed, you know? And I looked at that and I was like, well, these guys are the top athletes in the world and they smoke weed. Yeah. Therefore, I want to be the top athlete in the world, <laughs> which I have since become. I should smoke weed myself. You know? And I smoked it. And you know what happened to me? You went and played Division One football. I sure did, Tom. It's very fucking way to listen, dude. Way to listen. But yeah, they are cool guys to hang out with. Oh, that's dope, dude. I remember the fair dude. I was in first time I smoked weed. I was in. You grade. smoke weed? Well, I did, dude. I dabbled when I was a youth, Noah. I, I regret things, you know. Back, dude, in Noah, ever done that? Back in the day when I smoked, dude. I remember one time I smoked weed, and my friend found out, and he cried because he thought I was a drug addict. Really? I was like, "That's not how drugs work, dude." Dude, that guy, that guy loved. <laughs> I was you. like, "You fucking nerd." <laughs> <laughs> I loved you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that guy's doing uh, now? You know what the guy's doing now? Smoking weed. Sharing a room with Tom. <laughs> oh, dude. What's no up, way. Nick? Shout out to Nick, dude. I didn't even know him, but nah, Nick would have cried. He would have been cool about it. He'd be like, fuck, that's dope, dude. Yeah, dude, that was so funny, dude. But it was like it was like, it was like 20 years ago, dude. People felt so weird. It wasn't that long, but like 15 years old? ago. Dude, I'm that old. 15 years ago, people were weird about weed, dude. Now it's whatever. Wow. Weed's yeah, cool, people dude. were very weird. People were still weird about it, like the East Coast and different different states. Yeah, well, have, since you've been traveling, like, have you been since you've been traveling, like, living in California where it's everywhere, and yeah. then you go somewhere else, it's like people probably are still like sneaking yeah, around. You know, I dude. don't personally partake, but I'll have conversations about it. Yeah. Um. And yeah, dude, a lot of people. It's it's. Um. In Chicago, it's just becoming a little more popular because I think they recently legalized it in, in Illinois. But do Massachusetts, bro? Let me tell you what, dude. It's always been popular in Chicago. I'll tell you that much right there. Why? Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> within uh, uh, the people I talked to, you want to? How about uh, um, you? Fuck me right now. <laughs> well, that's what you said. You go fuck me right now. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> what is happening, dude? <laughs> I, I interrupted him, dude. <laughs> no, I sorry. It's it. the it's um. But yeah, I'm feeling. I would. I if, if I were uh, not a weed guy, I'd be feeling sharp. I'd be uh, cleaning up my diet a bit. I nice. think right now, hypothetically, if I stop doing it. Nice. Um, I think that that late night eating is what gets people, dude. Dude. Oh, and, you and it's just, tell me and about it's, it. And it's just uh, smoking late into the night to where it can really affect your morning, and then it can affect your mood throughout the day. You don't get good sleep. Um, yeah. Nice, dude. Sick. Yeah. I mean, What's, dude. I don't know. Some people. Can function with it you what's, ready to move on what's even on the agenda today yeah, dude, dude, come on, we had a whole bunch on the in. agenda i know we were just having a good conversation now i, I do want to know about this because you guys brought it up to me and i have no knowledge of this uh you guys said you asked me earlier if i heard about adam 22 and i legit have no idea i know kind of who he is but i have no idea yeah. what's going on with that oh yeah i'll tell you tom so adam 22 adam 22 is my favorite porn star and this he, guy, wait, this guy's a porn star. He's, he's a, a podcaster. podcaster, but his podcast is so sick. It's the one I wanted to do with you is where, um, <laughs> it's where he has a, a porn star on uh -huh. and then it's him and his wife. Who's also a porn star. And then after the podcast, they just have a three way Shut and, the he, fuck. and he fucks them both. <laughs> yeah, dude. So I, I, would, I wanted Holly, to have Holly, Holly day was on it two weeks ago. Shut the fuck yeah, up. Holly day dude, was on it she, two weeks ago. She had to bring her friend to fuck her because Adam didn't want to fuck her because they were about to get married with the, the wife is when yeah. they were like just about to get married or they had just gotten married. Yeah. But on the contrary, the reason Adam 22 is in the news is because they just got married and his wife, Lena, the plug, Great porn. Wait, star. her name is Lena the Plug. Bro, get on, get, get on Pornhub, dude. <laughs> dude Let's get go. on the internet. Hey, what um, is happening? What do you do on the internet? 
Um, she just got fucking railed by uh, Jason Love. Uh, I didn't even know that was that guy's name. Uh, just a, he's, just a, he's a big black guy. Just a BBC. Gotcha. Bro. Yeah, dude. And this guy, Adam, is just okay with it. And a lot of people are weirded out that he's very okay with it. The, the reason he could be okay with it, reason I'm not super pissed is because, call me old-fashioned, dude, but that dude, Adam, half every scene that Adam's in almost is with his wife and another chick. Yeah. He's just railing the other well, chick. But too. here's the thing. He, he's like super leaning into it. So like because he got married and then she posted something on like her pinned tweet was like can't wait to release this video and it's just her fucking looking at this it's just her bent over bent over the the kitchen counter and the black dude walks yeah (laughs) (laughs) you can just imagine this big old cock hanging i gotta fix your pipes lady she posted that on the day of her wedding and she posted on the day of her wedding or something like that it was was something crazy dude and and uh you know the whole internet went ablaze and was like dude you cuck they started calling him a cuck and he really leaned into it which i respect because he has no other choice and, and then except for to lean into it so now he'll be like posting pictures of like her getting fucked by other guys and, bro that's insane yeah but, i mean it's just crazy promo for their show it's crazy i mean yeah promo. i mean hey, it's it's good publicity and you like, can only see the video i've checked on her only fans ah. you can't see it you can't see it uh like on on the hub yet Whoa. nobody's pirated it yet um, but dude, the weird thing is like, I don't, you're, I'm with you. I don't think it's like crazy bad just because he does fuck other girls and that's the job that they're doing. Yeah. That's like, what, what, this is what they signed up for. Dude. Yeah, dude. This is their job. I mean, but, uh, that's kind of, I didn't know. I thought I knew him like for like being YouTube and podcast. I didn't know he did porn. So that's why I was like, no, oh, dude, just because of his, chick, his chicks dude, stuff. sexual Sorry. justice warriors. Um, he, he, like Adam that. 22 is like a, he's famous for being for having like a, a rap podcast called no jumper which that is now I know of. a big podcast that's yeah. more than rap and danny mullen here's the, yeah, with here's the okay, problem yeah. though now is now anytime uh anytime adam 22 like has people on his podcast that's all they want to talk about so he has to like spend the first 20 minutes explaining why it's okay to let his wife fuck other men what does he say why it's okay he's like i mean come on you know like you she's know, a porn star that's what she does what i do and like the other guy's like nah man you gay bro <laughs> <laughs> wait really they say that <laughs> bro, they, they call him gay for they, his they just tell him like it's not cool dude what you're doing is not cool bro that's your wife yeah Yo, you're like her... no nah, man come on yeah but dude, I, don't, I, she's, don't, I don't she's go, bringing home the bread i don't I, maybe is if you knew him personally you'd feel differently but i don't look at that guy and think like oh he's a cock it's, it's what they do dude. yeah that's yeah. what that's, I'm, what that's where do. i'm like losing i was like oh like so like, it's people their are job. mad about they're it, doing their job i'm surprised of how mad people are about it Dude, that's I'm happy sick. people are mad about it. I don't know why. That is but, weird. But it, it, <laughs> their anger <laughs> brings but Anthony I'm not, joy. I'm not mad about it. I like that other people are mad about it, but I like that I'm mature enough. Maybe if, maybe if hypothetically I was smoking weed, I'd be mad about it. I talk. <laughs> I could talk really fast. Uh, what? Speaking of <laughs> speaking of like the internet turning on somebody, what about all this uh, Jonah Hill stuff? You see dude, all that stuff? I was going to ask is I've, nuts. I, I saw he's, he was trending. I have no idea why. Dude, it's, oh, wow. I, I just know that he's trending. That's oh, we it. get to break it to you? Pull, pull up the text. Right. Send, uh, him, yeah. send him over. So basically... Uh, his, wait, wait hold, hold, I'm sorry. Did you say please to Tom? Uh, no. Okay, Thank so, you. okay. continue. Yeah. Um, so basically... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically what happened is... Oh, I love that you don't know this. Jonah Hill motherfucking jonah hill his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend now released a bunch of his text messages yeah i'm trying to find them that sucks a bunch you know and does it make him kind of look like a psychopath yeah a little bit but is he not is he saying like bad things in these text messages he's just saying what he wants in a woman yeah you know and he's telling me, he's like, you're not allowed to go surfing. She's a professional surfer. Uh, you're uh, not allowed to go surfing with guys. You're not allowed to post pictures of you in a bikini. Mind you, again, professional surfer. Oh, uh, she's a professional surfer? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And uh, you're not allowed to hang out with all your old uh, friends that you hung out with when you are a whore. Uh, he said whore? No. Okay. But he, he said it without saying it. Yeah. So, send on, that over. That. Send yeah. that over. I'm sending it over right now. He, and so now, like, now people are very divided. Uh, and by people, I mean men and women, because all the women are like, you're fucking sick, fuck you, fuck you, used to be fat, fuck. You know, <laughs> it's just like really mean things to this guy. And um, uh, and men, like Devin Booker, 
as soon as all this happened, posted a picture of Jonah Hill wearing a Suns jersey on his Instagram. Nah, nice. did he really? Yeah, oh, I, know that, I know that picture too. Yeah, dude. So well, he must have gone through something similar with Kendall. Who knows, dude? But wow, I mean, she didn't I release love this. She didn't yeah. release the dogs, you know. Yeah. yeah. I just I just sent over an email, uh, if, and it has so, it has the text messages. In do you think it. Devin Booker is at all nervous that Kendall might release some text from him, or do you think he's a cool enough guy to where he's not worried about? I mean, I don't think that's like something like a normal person should have to ever worry about. You would think if you're in a loving relationship with no, somebody, they broke up. It's like halfway but you down would the think page. that somebody who, especially somebody else who's famous, yeah. knows the correct decorum about you know how that stuff could. Yeah, I don't think she's she would do this. She's. She's already dating Bad Bunny. Yeah, bro. Yeah. She's all right. Yeah. She's not fucking upset uh, about it. The second one. This Keep growing. Yeah, that one. So this is exactly what he said. Um, He sent her a text and it says, plain and simple. Here's pulling up. If you need, uh, if you need surfing with men. Oh, dude, I hate reading because I'm like dyslexic. I'll read it, dude. All right, I'll read that. It. Uh, well, boundary list. Is that how you say that? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like it. I wanted to read I it. Huh? I didn't like that. You I was like, I want to read it. You complained about how you're What's that mean? Like, if you need, what does that mean? If you need this in your life, basically, <laughs> if you need these things, oh, I'm wow. not the guy okay. for you. Tom, you fucked this up. I'm hopping. All right, in. All right pop in, bro. Just read it. Just read yeah, it. read it. Okay. Plain and simple. If you need surfing with men, boundary list, inappropriate friendships with men, to model, to post pictures of yourself in a bathing suit, professional surfer, to post sexual pictures, friendships with women who are in unstable places and from your wild recent past beyond getting a lunch or coffee or something respectful. That's where he called her a whore, right there. I am not the right Subtext, partner baby. for you. If these things bring you to a place of happiness, I support it, and there will be no hard feelings. These are my boundaries for a romantic partnership. With boundaries... With you, my boundaries with you based on the way these actions have hurt our trust. So basically, the guy's setting his boundaries. You know, he's like, like, listen, I'm a fucking guy, dude. I was in Super Bad. All right. If you want to be with the fat dude from Super Bad, a couple rules you got to fucking abide by. You know? The one dude, the, they are crazy they're, fucking they're rules. They're nuts. I mean, dude, the sur- like she's was, a professional. Was there surfer. another thread? Oh, I'm curious. Was, was there another text thread? Yeah, as well? I think uh, there's more on the there's, bottom. Yeah, there's right? well, there's one up top, and he just like goes in. What um, does he do? You want, he, we don't have to pull it up. You know, you can just read it. Yeah, uh, he says he starts off saying, uh, "You're right. We Thank can't you, do surf social things or develop trust until you consider me and make decisions that give regard to our relationship." I've been vulnerable as possible, and I'm telling you I am needing you to step up to the plate, which you can. I'm sure of it. But these losers don't get your time if you want me. Straight up, it's consideration. I respect your love of surfing, but I respect myself as well. And your love of surfing and being in those situations and lack of awareness are not mutually exclusive. This isn't me. I have my own issues that I own. If you want marriage and family, you can't use the 25 cards. I'm 25? assuming that's her. Age. Yeah, wow. step up and cut shit. These people don't get your time and your kindness at the sacrifice of mine. It's just like, I get like the dude's throwing his boundaries out there, but saying like. And she said in the story, if you, I know I saw it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it yeah. says misogyny or something like that. Yeah, she's saying it's like very misogynistic. They keep saying it's like very misogynistic on his, like on his part and everything. Okay. And it's like. The dude has his Scroll own. Scroll down to the pictures of her. Oh yeah, the picture. Let's of her. see just what we're working she's, with here. I mean, hottie boom body, dude. She's she's a very pretty girl, dude. Yeah, dude. And he looks very like hot. fucking young Santa Claus. <laughs> dude, like I like Jonah Hill too, and I'm like, dude, everyone has their own boundaries. But I will say, like, to say like if you're professionals, like that's like saying to your wife who works with guys at her job, being like, hey, you can't go to work anymore because you're working with dudes. Like that's what it is. Should we get Jonah on the pod? That's I'd love sick. him on the pod, dude, dude. I would love him on the pod, man. It's probably going to be the only pod he gets to do after this shit, dude. Is this, is this like really bad for him? I don't know because he does have some supporters and people are just saying like, listen, he didn't do anything wrong. He just said, these it's are a, my boundaries if you want to be with me. It did. He didn't say anything like he, yeah, he didn't say like you're a whore, but he just said like, this is what you have to buy by if you want to be with me. And people are just like, oh, that's so fucking strict. Like, I mean, the did, only thing ridiculous to me is like the whole like you can't surf with dudes. I'm like, it's fucking surfing, bro. What, what do you think? Do you think this means Jonah Hill, besides his illustrious movie career, is just kind of a fucking loser? Right? Just an like, insecure like, dude. So he must. So that means he doesn't have 
hear me out. This, that means he doesn't have like that type of stuff going on in his life. He doesn't like, he's a movie star, bro. Yeah. That guy can go out and have a fucking night anytime he wants to. So that means he's just willingly, you know what I'm saying? That means he doesn't have a friend, a friend group. He's, he's not like, a, he's not, she should have more reason to be jealous because he's a fucking movie star. Mm. You guys not, not know what I'm understanding. Yeah. Like, I, she's I, just I, a like you're saying like opportunity, like, op, like not opportunity, like I'm opportunity saying, I'm, I'm, I'm or saying something. I'm kind of, I'm, uh, I'm kind of on her side. Oh, for sure. I am too. That, that, that shit's bonkers. Yeah, and and it, it's like, but for him to say that, I'm saying, doesn't that make him kind of like, doesn't that kind of show that he doesn't have much of a social life himself? Well, I think I he's mean, just like a mad insecure dude. Like yeah. it's just, to me, right? it's just like he's mad insecure and it's like one of those things. It's like everybody has their problems and stuff. And, you know, he made that documentary with his therapist and shit and like, yeah, but, but I mean, it's just like, it's like, bro, it's just but... like, honestly, all it says is like this dude's super insecure. That's it. Yeah. But couldn't it just be like, I don't know, bro. If this happened to me, I'd be like, uh, I'm Jonah Hill, dude. I'll just go out. If my, if that girl, what could that girl possibly do? The worst thing she could possibly do is hook up with somebody else. Yeah. Okay. And she doesn't seem like she was going to do that. Yeah. It seemed like they're beside, it seems like the thing he didn't like is just her like on lifestyle. social media and her lifestyle, but it doesn't look like she was cheating on him. No. So not, it's like that's... the worst thing she could do is cheat on him. And she wasn't even doing half of that. So what I'm saying is even if that girl cheated on him, if I was Jonah Hill, I would just be like, oh, all right, I'm, I'm still Jonah. I'd be sad, but I'd be like, all right, I'm still Jonah Hill. Like, I can still have a great life and go out and, and meet girls and, and have, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, but he, that's also the thing too, is he's like, I'm Jonah Hill. I could bend, God, I could bend God's creature's will to my will. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I meant it like no, but he that's, should. But that's what I'm saying. That's, there's a duality to it, too. Oh, yeah. You're, you're, it's yeah, you're also right. like, it's also, yeah, he could just go out and like, you know, probably have a great night and probably hook up with tons of fucking Not even sleuths. a great night, but like he could, he, there's probably a lot of people that would like of to course. meet Jonah Hill. But also there's like, there's probably the idea where he's like, I'm fucking Jonah Hill, bitch. Do you think if he said that in person? It would have came off a little respect, more respectful. That's crazy to put in text. Oh, yeah. It is wild to but put like, in text, dude. If you were just like, hey, like, you know, this if I was Jonah Hill and I felt like that, I would I would say this. Hey, I know I have a lot of options for women, right? I'm Jonah Hill. I can get almost any girl I want. Did you hear what I said? You're Jonah Hill. You can get any girl you want. These are what I, if we continue this relationship, I'm pretty particular about relationships and stuff like that. So this is just what I want if we're going to continue this relationship. If not, I understand because these are pretty insane, but this is just how I feel with relationships. That's why I'm good. Like I'm still Jonah Hill. Like I don't know if I mentioned I'm Jonah Hill. I'm sure. I could yeah. still go out at the Chateau Marmot and meet a hundred women that I could probably fall in love with Shit, he, I, or i could go to france he could I go out go, to the comedy chateau i was gonna say the comedy chateau night. if he wants <laughs> and, and, and he could perform and then and then anything he wants yeah um, he has to bring five people though but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah dude i i just think uh obviously probably in hindsight now that he's probably rereading these texts now now that everybody can read them I don't think he sent those with the intention of everybody in the world reading that's it. yeah that's, that's like do you send your texts like what with like oh these could be read by everybody on the internet dude, one day i yeah. sent a te i sent a text and i'm like dude i'm afraid one other person's gonna read it yeah. not everybody yeah dude it's wild but yeah it is what it is dude i don't know being a celebrity probably sucks i guess but all right dude guys we got to move on to uh we got uh we got a hot roast for you guys i got to do um so i read this article and it's about uh you know today they were talking about how uh, the fitness culture is uh, being destroyed by conservatives. And I'm just like, it's so weird. And it's funny because like it's so back and forth and stuff. But I read this other article and it was talking about how conservatives explain how woke culture is destroying America, which not going to lie, dude. I think uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I think, you know, we could all use a little break. But um, woke culture, woke culture, What's wrong dude? With woke culture, Tommy. Like, yeah, dude, you I, sleeping. You I'm sleep, sleeping. Tom? I'm like, no, it's cool. But I'm just like, wake I'm up. Fuck him right now. All right, sorry. 
Ah, right, cool, guys. Future's here, nah, man. I'm just kind of like, I'm just like, oh, I'm a, I, I just like, be a good dude, be nice. That's it. Like, you know. I know we're fucking with you. Yeah, I know we, you guys. We agree are. with you. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, anyway, so we're gonna go over the. These are the conservatives and explain how woke culture is destroying America. Let's see. Him. You know, it has its look. Woke culture, it has its positives, but these people think it's destroying America. Him. So let's start it off. I don't even give a fuck what they're gonna say, dude. I'm just ready to roast these assholes. All right, man. So it'll be on the final product too. Okay. All right, so we got Doug Mendoza, who's a screenwriter. Uh, yeah. Yep. So, all right, so Doug Mendoza is a screenwriter, and he said, it makes people have too much sex or too little sex. I'm not sure which. <laughs> uh, nice, Doug. dude. He's Doug in his turtleneck, dude. Yeah, dude. Doug Mendoza looks like your substitute math teacher. Doug Mendoza looks like he moonlights his Mexican Santa. It's my second Santa joke today. I got to get original. It's all right. <laughs> it's a skinny um, Santa, dude. <laughs> yeah. Doug Mendoza looks like a home plate umpire. I used that one before. Yeah. He does, though. He, he does. <laughs> Doug Mendoza looks High like school. he's... High uh, school. Fuck. Doug Mendoza looks like he's uh, Guatemalan, gets really mad if you call him Mexican. Yeah. Doug Mendoza's 4'11". <laughs> yeah. He's a fucking <laughs> little guy. On his dude. ID. <laughs> yeah. uh, Doug Mendoza looks like he always wears slacks. Yep, that Doug Mendoza brings uh, food on airplanes. Yeah, <laughs> the next guy, dude. I don't <laughs> like this guy. Yeah, you dude. don't like Doug. We're done with Doug, like dude. All right, we got Harvey Kaplan. He's the VP of acquisitions. Wow. Harvey said, because of the woke mob, every time I look at teenagers now, all I can think about is what genitals they may or may <laughs> not have. Jesus, I know I'm not the only one. Wow, Doug or Harvey Kaplan looks like a character Will Ferrell would play in a movie. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Harvey Kaplan looks like he has no bottom teeth. Wow. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Uh, Harvey Kaplan looks like uh, he just started doing open mic comedy last Harvey year. Harvey Kaplan looks like he's uh, the face of the hair product just for they thems. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, Harvey Kaplan looks like he fucking hates his grandkids. Yep. Harvey Kaplan looks like a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Harvey Kaplan looks like he's an ear doctor. Yeah, mm, I yeah. can see that, dude. Harvey Kaplan looks like I bet you he's not wearing pants in this picture. Harvey, <laughs> <laughs> Harvey Kaplan said that same haircut for 20 years. Huh? Yeah, dude. Uh, Harvey Kaplan was really good on his basketball team before they yeah. let the, you know, play. Yeah. Uh, Har 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 <laughs> Harvey Kaplan leaves baseball games in the seventh inning. All right. <laughs> We're going to move on to uh, our boy, Ryan Peters, who's in ad sales. Now, Ryan said, I was in incredible physical shape back before the country went all woke. Ryan Peters looks like he's going to sell you something on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Peters looks like he's not Armenian, but his vibe is. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> Ryan Peters looks like a guy who subscribes to Andrew Tate. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, Ryan Peters looks like uh, he's not Armenian, but his vibe is. <laughs> you just, you just <laughs> said that. <laughs> 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 Ryan Peters looks like looks like he walks out of a comedy club bathroom, <laughs> scraping his nose. He looks, hey man, can I get a spot? Can I get up on your show? How do I get on your show? Can I get on your show? Uh, Ryan Peters looks like before he goes to bed, he takes his unibrow off and puts it on the nightstand. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Peters looks like he was in Shrek. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, Ryan Peters looks like he's about to get you in <laughs> into a Ponzi scheme. Yeah, dude. Dude. Ryan Peters knows. All the best hookers. Uh, Ryan Peterson looks like an undercover uh, jihadi. Like he works for the U.S. government. Yeah. Sleeper R cell. Ryan Peters is a... <laughs> I was going to say something too inappropriate. I think. Say it, dude. Fucking let loose. Ryan Peters uh, looks like he turns 40 and then tries to turn 20-year-old men into gay men. <laughs> that, was, that was wordy, but I, didn't th I don't think that got... It's all right, man. We're going to move on now. I'm sorry. Guys. It's cool, dude. Don't worry. You'll make it up with this guy. We got our good friend, George Wintersteiner, and he's a bus oh, yeah, driver. Up, all right. And he said, a hundred years ago, you'd walk down the street and see at least a dozen fellas playing the spoons. Nowadays, no spoons. That's the left. Wow. George looks like a bus driver. George looks like he drinks on the job. George looks <laughs> like he drove that bus to January 6th. George looks. George looks like he's got some 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 dogs on the grill, dude. Yeah, dude, Those some mean fucking dogs. Uh, George Wintersteiner looks like he's a pilot for Spirit Airlines. Yeah, 
George Wintersteiner. Um, George Wintersteiner looks like he fucking. Dude, <laughs> I don't like this guy. Dude, either. we suck, dude. I don't like this guy. I, I mean, this dude, guy's just we not. Fucking suck, dude, dude, he just looks like a white supremacist. All right, there. Moving dude, on, this dude. guy. This guy. Uh, this guy. <laughs> This guy looks like he tells all his friends that him and his wife did doggy style last night. Yeah, this dude. guy looks like Noah's grandfather. <laughs> George George <laughs> Wiener Steiner looks like he's not Armenian, but his vibe is. <laughs> Stop, dude. All right, we got a we got a hot we got a we got a hot lady jumping in now. We're done. We're done with George, man. Samantha Hudson, dude, she's a dentist. She said, My child asked me if anything bad has ever happened to anyone ever. As a parent, what am I supposed to say to that? Uh, so Sam Samantha looks like she's gonna fuck a big black guy on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's on set for porn right now. Yeah, dude. Samantha looks like the first girl to, that somebody called a butterface. <laughs> 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 Samantha looks like she grew up with a lazy eye and got it fixed. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Samantha. <laughs> and she only got fucked doggy Samantha until looks like then. she calls you honey all the time. <laughs> oh honey, oh honey. Uh, she looks like he, she based her personality off of Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, I'm, Samantha I'm not looks like great. she. I'm not feeling I mean, good. She, she just she, <laughs> no, dude, Samantha looks like she's not Armenian, but her vibe is. <laughs> dude, next fucking segment, dude. I can't roast after we had digits on last week, bro. I just feel inadequate. Well, hey. I feel really inadequate. Quit, Yo, dude. fools! <laughs> All he did was call everyone fools. It was hilarious. Oh, no, the the so, one guy yeah. is, looks Armenian, but his vibe is, dude. I mean, to be fair, this guy does. <laughs> Ryan Ashraf, who's a lawyer. The woke mind virus made me addicted to gay pornography. <laughs> Yo, Ryan looks like the woke mind virus made him addicted to gay pornography. Yeah. Ryan looks like he spends all day at a coffee shop writing. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, he couldn't be happier to be on the gay pornography. Look at him, dude. Oh, dude. Uh, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. Ryan looks like uh, when people ask him what kind of brown he is, he says 9-11, not 7-Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ryan just looks like a guy that would just buy you all your you and your friends drinks at a bar for no reason, yeah, <laughs> right? Dude. The bung the guy, guy spends his week at the bungalow. Huh? Yeah, Ryan. Ryan looks like he leaves cameras in public bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan looks like he shows up alone to events a lot. Mm. You know. All right, dude. all right. We're gonna move on. We're gonna end with our last guy. Oh boy, this is my favorite. Uh. Our next guy uh, is this gentleman, Mitch McConnell, who's a senator. Nice, dude. And Mitch McConnell says, <laughs> it's, had <a> ne <laughs> it's had a negligible effect on what we've been building, but it's m mildly annoying. <laughs> Mitch McConnell's still in the Senate. It's yeah, a Jack Harlow dude. line. Dude, Mitch McConnell looks like an old testicle. Uh, Mitch McConnell looks like he got a vote from Thomas Mitchell this election. Mitch McConnell looks like he could have been on the cover of any Harry Potter book. <laughs> Mitch, McC Mitch McConnell looks like he wants fat burger <laughs> over in and out. <laughs> Mitch McConnell looks like his neck is attached to his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mitch McConnell looks like a guy you can be for Halloween, huh? Yeah, dude. dude looks they like sell Mitch McConnell masks at Spirit. Looks like he's got Spirit a fucking Halloween. pelican fucking jugular, dude. dude. Like he just puts chestnuts in there. Mitch McConnell looks like the two guys behind him just want to beat the shit out of him. Yeah, who is that? Is that that looks like John Elway behind him? Dude, well, John Elway wants to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> oh shit, dude, uh, this guy kind of looks Armenian, but <laughs> his vibe. Mitch, yeah, Mitch, Mitch McConnell is the one person who looks like their vibes are Armenian, but they're not. Mitch McConnell looks like he he teaches acting in L.A. <laughs> Mitch McConnell looks like Charges he wants way to too much. Fuck a dude in the bathroom. Hell yeah, that was bad. What's yeah, wrong with that? that was bad. Huh? No, there's nothing wrong with that. Nah, dude, no, you ever hear those stories about like the rep Republican uh, congressmen that like they're like anti-gay and then they try to fuck dudes in airport bathrooms? Really? Yeah, dude. Like all these dudes get busted for it. Which airports? All right. I'll let you <laughs> let me know your next flight. We'll just do our due diligence. All right. All right, all right dude. We're ending with that. Fuck Mitch McConnell. I guess he looks like a testicle. Like I said. All right. Good job, Tom. Thanks, man. All right, dude. I think onto the wheel. We're spinning the wheel. You right? You want to spin the wheel, dude? I think we're all on right. The so wheel, we got a couple man. seg. All right, before we spin, we got a couple segments on there. 
Uh, and I'm hoping it lands on purple because that's Noah's choice, dude. And I want to know what he's going to go with. What are the segments? Oh, yeah. You want to go over? All right. Yeah. So we got our choices today. Yeah, sorry. That was a bad, <laughs> bad segue. Uh, so we got roast. If it lands on red, you got to roast. Green is prank phone calls. Yellow, my personal second favorite after Noah, is would you rather blue is confession and purple? That's very hard to read. And the black is Noah's choice. So, okay. We'll all do the honors, buddy. Yes. Which one? Let's have some fun. Which one's prank phone call? Green. Dude, yeah. All right. Big greens, no whammies. And. Yeah, buddy. That's a man spin. Yeah. Noah's choice. Noah's choice, baby. No, dude, that's on green. That is literally oh, on Noah's Noah. choice, bro. All right, Noah, Noah what do you want to see? Me, bro. We kind of did the roast already, so I think we would just have to start roasting random people. We go on like we can start roasting girls. It, it, he he didn't no- even fucking pick. It went on Noah. I know, but yeah. I'm letting him know. So what do you want to do? But roast is a whole different prank prank call, dude. Prank All right, call. guys. I was just saying. All right. Oh, we- you mean of those four? Hold up. I get it now. Yeah. I was under the impression that Noah's choice, Noah can choose anything he wants. No, Noah's choice of the four. He, and even if he could Noah. choose anything he wants, dude, he no, picks prank. Noah, 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 Noah. Is there anything else you would choose that, that's not on there? That's No, don't look at, look at anything but that. Noah, hey. Is there hey. anything else you would want? Are you guys ready for this, dude? I've been, I want I've been, you to have a personality, Noah. <laughs> That's a funny thing I've been waiting for this moment because I'll, you guys have never experienced this. This is one of my favorite. You ever all-time seen? Don't explain it. Have you ever seen chicks at a bar do like this with their drinks? Well, I need, I need, uh, uh, I need they, two they phones. Their, say, say this is a girl's arm. They do. Oh, they and like rather like yeah, cheers, girl. I hate that shit, dude. It's goofy, and because they do it on like they, they're not celebrating anything. They're just doing it because they have drinks. Yeah, doing it because they're on, it's like Jonah Hill Tuesday. just broke up with you, dude. Like, I've seen I've seen girls do that at the bar at Haha on like a Tuesday. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's so dumb, dude. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I please tell a quick story about what happened at the Haha last night? Yes. Yeah, dude. Do you have enough time, Noah? So. I'm sitting there just hanging out with Terry, the owner, and there's two people sitting at the bar, uh, a boy and a girl, a man and a woman. And some guy walks in in a bathrobe, Bilal, Uh and goes, starts recording. And he goes, world star, world star, whoa, world star. And then he starts yelling at the girl. Are you happy with yourself? You happy with yourself? He's calling her by her name. Are you happy with yourself? Say her name's Jessica. You happy, Jessica? Who the fuck is this? And like, so long story short, he caught her cheating with it. they were sitting they were very close to they no were sitting way. very close to each other and i right before he walked in i saw them making out but he didn't see that okay so then he uh the they kick him out of the haha what jeez what was that going on they're still talking dude 20 minutes later a guy comes back in and he looks at the guy he goes is is, is this how you treat men is how you treat another man well, what's what's your problem, man? And the guy's like, I didn't know. I, I'm not supposed to know you had a girlfriend. I just met this girl. He has an English accent. I met a girl at a bar, and I went to hang out. And uh, that's my British accent. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and he was like, but I just came back in here, and you knew what the deal was. And he goes, and the guy goes, honestly, I was just trying to see how this all plays out. And then uh, the ha- the manager at the ha ha, stupidly, I was like, dude, just let them do their thing. I was like, dude, relax. Let was them- there a show going on? Inside, yes. Inside oh, the showroom. This is at the bar. Yeah. And uh, the owner goes, all right, you have one minute. The manager goes, you have one minute, and then we're going to kick you out. So then this guy just goes off on this girl, grabs her head, and is just like yelling at her about like, and this girl is just taking it. This girl is like very calm, and like she knew this would happen. And we got the suspicion, new word, that they lived together. So the man and the woman lived together and she was hanging out with this, this dude. Okay. And he, he's getting so mad and then he just leaves. And about 20 minutes later, they leave together. Wow. The man, the man and the woman, they just met that night. You said this guy's in a bathrobe. He's in a bathrobe. Was his name Jonah Hill? So I'm saying if something like that happens, if something like that happens, you gotta, you gotta, Put some clothes on. Did he even? <laughs> yeah, that's right? what you got out I mean, of it. You got to show up with your clothes Did on. Did he dude. say like how no, he found out? No, but we think he was either tracking her. I think he, I I honestly think uh, he, my suspicion was they were already going through a little rocky period. They obviously lived together. He pays the rent, whatever. And uh, 
he went to the haha to kind of check on her, is what I think. But he walked in and he was already recording. So people think he had a location. I don't that's know. That's what I dude. think. That's why if he was recording, yeah. he definitely knew some shit was up. Yeah. But, to like go and then dude, my favorite, it's like 2005. He's like world stars. Like that's good, funny as shit. Because I saw the people meet. They met, their girl was at the show alone. And then the guy was on stage. And the then, guy was a comic? Uh, still is. And they they <laughs> were they were talking. So that, that's what I'm like, they just met. So how could this guy suspect it? like I saw the people meet too. So that's why I was very Do you think it was you think it was kind of staged? Do you think it was a stage thing for content? You're fucking, now you're, you, you're in this the whole, whole ha-ha. I know, dude. dude you're, you're in this whole... Aaron was there the whole time. The okay. bartender who, who, who... Long story short, there's something else happened to ha-ha and that guy thinks that was staged. Aaron was there the whole time. He doesn't think this was staged at all. Well, tell him what happened earlier at the ha-ha. It's not a big deal. There was a guy... I wasn't there, but uh, Danny Mullen and Leo have a pretty interesting crowd. You met Leo, who was here the other... I'm talking to you. And... Uh, <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Some guy, Danny was taking a piss in the bathroom at the urinal, and some guy went over his shoulder and took a pic picture of his dick. <laughs> <laughs> and he wouldn't, uh, and he refused to delete it. So everybody that worked at the haha -ha thought it was staged. Well, hold on. And let me let me say what they told me. I wasn't there either, but what I heard is that first they had a Android phone specialist come in. They called in a specialist. Who called him and he was there. Okay. And then they, and then they, they go through this guy's phone to delete the picture. And as they're going through the phone, it's just hundreds of other pictures of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> He's the dick bandit, dude. No. He's like, yeah, well, uh, this one's, uh, well, <laughs> this one's. Well, clarify. <laughs> this one's Clooney. This one's. Well, well, well let's clarify. The creepy guy. <laughs> yeah. the no, creepy one, guy. dude. John Hill, we got had to get from that, under. That, the creepy guy that took the picture, not oh. the Android expert, was the one with, with all the dicks on his phone. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. So why? That makes it the fact that they said that makes 100% confirms to me that this is a true story. And, you, and you're using that as your argument that it's a fake story. Yeah, dude. How so? Because I think that's just too hilarious. It's, it's, funny, like, it's like too good to it's be real. It's too good, dude. I don't know. I, I'm on but your it side. Makes it, it makes He's more sense that it's real. Like, and like this guy's like a serial dick pic taker. <laughs> he, <laughs> just, he just goes around and snaps people's <laughs> dude, Hundreds, he, they dude, said. Dude, they have to scroll through. Do you think he ever tried to take someone's dick pic and was like, oh, no, that's not good enough? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what does he do with the dick pic? Which is my question. Would you be more mad if someone took a picture of your dick or if someone tried to take a picture of your dick? I was like, actually, that's not a good dick. <laughs> well, the, 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 the reason Danny was so mad is because he was very soft at the time. It wasn't a flattering pic. He said if it was a flattering pic, he wouldn't have cared. That's hilarious. That's yeah. fun. that's funny yeah. as shit. Whoa, whoa, let me just get a, wreck, a picture dude. of his piss dick, dude. You know, yeah. piss dick's always fucking really embarrassing. With the, with the, in the, so, the AC can get pretty chilly. Yeah. There, too. So it's uh, so I got more I got out of that. So grower, not a shower. That's <laughs> yeah. what I. That's what, what I heard. What Danny, that Danny, Danny, <laughs> Danny. Not a shower. Uh, what, what, what are we at time wise? They don't care. They're having a good time, dude. He's got plans after this. So you got. Yeah, that's still, what yeah, I'm saying. So true. what are your plans with these Kona big waves? Uh, to drink them? Yeah. <laughs> with who? With who? Hell yeah, dude. All right. Uh, I think it's a little late right now. So my prank call idea would work better next week. No, but so... so your prank call idea is you want to call two Chinese restaurants. So here's which, what you which, do. Which, which has been done. Dude, it hasn't I been done. I want you, I want you been, to prank. I think that I want you to prank call. It hasn't been done in a, a long B. time. I want A to B. Hasn't been done in a long I don't, time. I don't dude. think that's going to make I for wanna, a great but it's podcast. Also, I want to bring it back from... It's hilarious, But dude, dude what if you did do two different... Like you're saying, it's already been done, the Chinese, then pick two new restaurants. No, the, 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 That's the same thing. He can still do that. I know, but Chinese is the funniest. Why? Because they get all Chinese <laughs> with each other. <laughs> you, you put them on the phone with each cool. other, they start they start getting all Chinese with each other, dude. It's the best. Dude. <laughs> it's the dude. best, dude. Hey, you know what I used to do? You know what I used to do in high school? I used to, uh, I was a prank call king, dude. I used to, <laughs> we would, when we were what playing. what means, dude. What? Get all Chinese. What does that even mean? It That's means like, you know, you ever been to China? 
<laughs> no, I've never been to China. You ever seen? You ever ate Chinese? Food? You ever seen Rush Hour? <laughs> yeah, oh, I have seen Rush Hour. You ever been like to a Chinese food restaurant? It's like Rush Hour. <laughs> yeah, I like Rush Hour. Chris Tucker. Yeah, uh, I've been. Yeah, I've had Chinese food. Yeah. Yeah, of course. When you order the food, they get all Chinese with each other. They start yelling at each other in the back, and th that's like what they start doing on the phone because okay. they're arguing. My one of my friends. In Are you familiar with this prank call? Do you know this prank call? It's okay. So what you do is you call a Chinese food restaurant, you place the order, right, and then you say, "Hold on, let me uh, let me see if my friend wants anything." Put them on mute. Call another Chinese food restaurant. Say, "Hey, I'd like to place an order. I'm going to hand the phone over to my friend." Then you put them on mute, and then you say, "Okay, I'm going to give the phone to my friend. Can you please repeat the order?" Right, and then. You unleash the hell. You unleash the dogs, dude. Then they start, and then one restaurant's like, okay, so I want chicken chow mein, beef. And then the guy's like, and then they start yelling prices at each other. They're like, that'll be fourteen fifty. dollars They're like, what are you talking about? I'm, you're ordering from me. And, like, I gotta be full. and then they start getting all Chinese with each other, and it's just pure fucking madness. Glory. You, you convinced me. I'm Googling Chinese. Right? Let's do it. You want to do it? Yeah, that's hilarious. What'd you okay, say? let's yeah. do it. To, to do that, to, <laughs> your plan for the Konos is to watch two Chinese restaurants fight with each other, dude. The, and drink Konos. The problem I mean, is, there's been worse times to drink beer. So the problem is, it's so late that it's, it's nine thirty. I dude, know. If there's one place that's open, it's either Domino's or a Chinese. Restaurant. All right, I just Google China. Let's see what happens. Chinese food. I'm gonna type in like, uh, you know, Atlanta. Oh, they can be from wherever. Wherever it just has to be two Chinese food restaurants. What? what? Bro, you're right. There's all these Chinese restaurants are closed. They're all closed. Why? So that's why I'm saying the oh, so next episode. Late night thing. That's disgraceful. Fuck LA. Huh? Next I didn't know. episode. Well, I thought Chinese episode. Chinese Chinese episode, the Chinese episodes. episode. Jeez. You're I thought episode, Chinese restaurants huh? would be open this late, dude. Me nah, too, dude. We got to do it next time. Next episode for sure. We're gonna do a Chinese food prank call. No, be here, dude. You better be here. Okay. Uh, but what I used to do in high school is I would uh, find like an average player for the team that we were playing that week i would like find like a really average player i'd get his phone number you know you just kind of ask around you could find these things no way you can't find his phone number. It, it was at the time remember when you used to put your fucking phone number on your facebook profile wow oh, a lot yeah. of people would do that and they didn't oh, even know that it was done and so uh and so i would call the guy and i would do this right here yeah, hello, hi, uh, this is uh, Coach Jack Mihoff from Menlo State, home of the Bob Tigers down here in Menlo, Indiana. We're a Division Four school, and now uh, we're doing a little recruiting up in your area, son. And uh, let me tell you what, I've seen a couple videos on you, and you got a hell of an arm on you. I would always say hell of an arm. I don't care, like, what position they play. <laughs> it would be a fucking, <laughs> it could be a left guard. Tom, yeah. <laughs> picture her. <laughs> And I and I would just do recruit recruiting video uh, recruiting calls recruiting pranks recruiting pranks. It was so mean. I would get these kids hopes up like, oh, um, should I like get my parents? No, oh, Sonny. Oh, no, 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 no. Down here at Menlo State, home of the Bob Tigers. Down here in Menlo, Indiana. We don't care what your parents think. All right, it's all about you. You're the player. You're the son. Now, uh, let me tell you, what's uh, you like to drink booze? Huh? You have a little booze uh, booze lip on you? Booze lip? And they'd be like, oh, uh, uh, yeah. Well, down here in Menlo State, home of the Bob Tigers in Menlo, Indiana, we got all the booze you could drink. Home of the we got all home the booze the and all the boobs, all right? I would just say stuff like that, recruit them. And I would always, I, I was really good at it, but then I would always break. When I'd be like, okay, so uh, let me tell you what. Uh, why don't you give me a call back here tomorrow, and uh, we'll get you on a flight down here to Menlo, Menlo Indiana. Uh, let you see the the campus, uh, Menlo State, home of the Bob Tigers down here in Menlo, Indiana. And uh, uh, l l l let me just uh, leave you my number. And I'd give him a number, and I'd be like, did you get that? You got a pen and paper? You write that down? Okay, yeah, uh, let me repeat it to you. And I'd give him a different number. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking make me laugh, dude. That's so funny. That'll make me laugh. And That's then when, the funniest part. And when we would play them, I'd walk up to them and I'd be like, hey, this is Coach Jack Mihoff from Menlo State, home of the Bob Tiger <laughs> down here in Menlo, Indiana. Wait, we said, when would you say that? At the very end? When he would play when, them. When we would play them at the game. Oh. Yeah. Where, like, but you knew which guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. So what was, you were a center. This is in high school? In high school, yeah. I played O-line, yeah. You played O-line. And all, so you, all you, would you choose like a guy on the defense? Oh, it didn't. I played both ways. In high you would school. just no pick. You would just pick yeah. any 
sucker you could find. Just anybody who I could find that was like halfway decent to where they might believe it, but like not good enough to be actually getting recruited to where they'd be like Division Four. What the fuck is this? They still have to be stupid enough to not fucking yeah. know. You that's know, interesting. You're smart. Oh, dude, it's so right. fun. That's awesome, dude. It's so Did fun. Anybody, what's the best reaction you got? Uh, so one time I called uh, I called this guy. I'm not going to say his name, but he was a teacher and he was a baseball coach Nice at my high school. And it was like his first year. He was like 24. Nice. Young, you know? And we just kind of used to pick on him a little bit. And I remember one of the, one of the other coaches who I played for thought it'd be funny because he knew about my prank calls. He gave me his number. He's like, why don't you call him? <laughs> and so, wow. And so dude. I called him. I said, hey, this is, uh, this is uh, uh, Harry Johnson. Uh, it would either be Jack Mehoff or Harry Johnson. And I'd be like, hey, this is uh, Harry Johnson. I'm a uh, 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 principal over here at, uh, and I said, a rival school. And, uh, you know, we just went through a big tragedy. We, uh, Our varsity head baseball coach just went down uh, with a long-term flu. And uh, we're going to need a replacement for this season. And I've spoken all around, and I've heard that you're the guy to go to. Remind you, he's like an assistant freshman baseball coach, and I'm offering him a head coaching job <laughs> at a rival high school. <laughs> I said, you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to teach here, and you're going to have to, you know, we'll get you a job, we'll get you all situated. And he was just so excited, dude. Really? So I f started feeling bad. And uh, I ended the phone call with the fake phone number, and it always makes me laugh. Because he'd be like, wait, you said a different number. <laughs> I just laughed. And you just then, hang up. Yeah, and funny. then I went to him thinking, you know, he think it was funny. I went to him the next day uh, <laughs> at school, and I said, hey, this is Coach Harry Johnson, uh, principal over here at fucking – and he looks at me, and he's like, oh, that was you? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> funny, right? And he's like, yeah. And he just walked away, and I never really had a great relationship with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> wow so he was sad he was happy i'll tell you that much dude wow. <laughs> yeah dude i used to get away with a lot of bullshit back wow. in the day well look forward to seeing that happen next week then dude i'm telling you bro this chinese food prank call it's the best I, bro I, i've seen the Domino's versus pizza one I, i'm ready for it all right uh before we get out of here i would like to get if you guys are cool with it one would you rather I'm just curious. Let's do it. Cool. Did you want to do? We'll do the the GBT. We'll do it next time. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah we're, <laughs> oh yeah. fuck. Yeah. No, we're cool. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we got. We got stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um. All right, dude. So, uh, I got a list of a couple would you rather's, but I'm just curious. We'll end with this one. Would you guys rather drink a gallon of mayonnaise? Yes. Or a gallon of ketchup? Ketchup. Oh, ketchup, easy, bro. That's a tomato smoothie. Mm. Noah, ketchup. Yeah, mayo, dude. Mayo, first of all, there's just something gotcha. inherently. I used to have a. My, it's my, thicker, dude. My dad's white friend. Uh, <laughs> he used to come over when I was little and just freak me out. He'd eat a spoonful of mayonnaise. Dude, talk to. We talked about it. Will fucking. Will. Uh, what's Rick his Hart. face? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I thought he was talking He to puts him. mayo in his coffee, too? Levis. No, the, yeah, Will Levis oh, puts yeah. mayo in his fucking coffee, dude. And people. Didn't like that's why I'm curious because people wouldn't draft him because of that, dude. Mayo is just a fucking really. It's a really white thing. It's a really fucking just gross thing to eat on its own. What is it? It's it's, 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 egg it's basically whites. eggs and butter. Yeah, egg, just like fucking and churned oil. and and oil. Yeah, but yo, see, but I love I I I, will front, I love mayonnaise. But do you Ooh, get, mayonnaise like, good on like a, a sandwich? Yeah, I've never bought mayo at a store. Really? Like, do you get like? Would you buy mayo? Yeah, really? yeah, yo, actually, even if I'm making a sandwich, I can do without mayo. Yeah, I, I did buy mustard pretty recently. Mm. Um, Great condiment, game changer, bro, dude. Honey, game honey. changer. I would make a sandwich. What? What's honey, honey mustard? mustard? Honey mustard, or well, that's the honey mustard is no. the all time mustard. Mustard on a sandwich is the best. Oh, a hot dog, yeah. But I'm saying like honey, honey mustard, mustard for chicken. Chicken tenders is the best. It's great, but honey, honey mustard, mustard on, a on a sandwich. Honey mustard on a sandwich, fucking amazing. It is. What, what it type is. of meat? What type of meat? Oh, uh, dude, any you nice can use ham. Turkey. This dude just said ham, both. Ham, said, what turkey. Type of meat? He said both. <laughs> both meat. Both types of meat. <laughs> he said on chicken fingers and in a Joke, sandwich. Chicken oh, fingers okay. and a sandwich. Honey mustard. Yeah, but wait, there's there's a difference with the honey mustard you get with chicken fingers is also different than the honey mustard you would put on a sandwich. How so? Because I it's this the is consistent. It's like the way it's made. That's interesting because I bought a honey mustard dressing. Yeah. 
but it's like a salad dressing. It, they're, that's, there's so many of them. There's like so, one so that's for, a third kind. Yeah, there's like sandwich, <sighs> dressing, and fucking chicken fingers. It's all wow. weird, dude. But what it's, a world, Tom. Honey mustard's fucking great, dude. <laughs> wow. I love it, dude. I love it. You know what? Maybe we'll have to do that. Maybe we'll have to bring in all the types of honey mustard and you can pick your favorite. Let's do it. All right, Let's do it. it. Is that your only... Would you give us another one. All right, I'll so. give you guys okay. another Hell one. Yeah. All right, well, you know, we'll get a little darker with this yeah, one. That was pretty, all right. That was pretty, you uh, that was pretty got off. You guys, yeah, you guys want to end with a little fucked up one? Yeah. 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 Let's do it. All right, cool. Would you guys rather have sex with the hottest person you know who has just died or have sex with the ugliest person and smelliest person, but they're still alive? So it's either fuck a dead person or a live person? But they're hot. Yeah, it's pretty much either fuck a really hot sh- a hot girl or fuck a really ugly girl, but they're alive. So this this is a no-brainer for me. Yeah, 100%. definitely. We'll say it at the same time. Ready? Three, two, one. Dead, dead. chick. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. And on. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. A couple of necrophiliacs, dude. Dude, how good. fresh is the death? As fresh as you want it to be. We're not descriptive. It could be whatever, dude. Am I the cause of the death? No, you're not. You didn't. Well, it's, you, it's just it's she's laying on this table she, and, and then they're just dead. like, then they're just like, boom, natural causes. Done. Yeah. And, you're, and, you're, and then you just go. Yeah. Yeah. Like but she's dead or you. Well, yeah. Dead. Like I just walk in on like you walk know, in and you're like, oh, like it's I like just, Grey's Anatomy. Like, all right, yeah, like I just, think about I just it, like, walk in. I walk in through the door. I see a guy strangling. And I'm like, hey, stop. <laughs> and, then, and then he leaves. And then I'm like, oh, what am I doing? All right. What do I do now? The scenario, <laughs> I finish my bit. <laughs> the scenario is you're going to get <laughs> laid. I don't care. You're going. To, you're you bringing in. The, you're you're bringing in an ugly chick to lay to bang to her. Lay. <laughs> this is fucking hundred years old. Sorry, <laughs> that's cool, dude. I am. Uh, you're bringing a chick in to bang who's the ugliest, smelliest girl, and then you walk in and you see the hottest chick you've ever seen in your life, and she's dead. And you tell the ugly chick, see ya. I'm gonna bang the hot girl. They're in the room together. Yeah. So the ugly chick killed the hot chick. Because she smelled so bad. Ooh. Or because she's just dude. so ugly. Yeah. She's now, like, ooh, get it away from me. Now, let me tell you this, dude. In a perfect world, we're, we're an all out orge fest, dude. <laughs> you are banging the ugly, yeah, alive chick. Dude, we're doing and everything. The, and the dude. hot, dead chick. We're doing everything, dude. We're trying to bring her back to life, dude. <laughs> we're fucking doing seances, dude. <laughs> dude you're giving her. One, you're uh, fucking her and she's giving her a fucking CPR. Yeah, bro. I got a book of Wicca right next to me, dude. Just fucking casting spells. <laughs> what book of what? Wicca. What's that? Wicca. It's like. Uh, is that the witch's Bible? Yeah, it's like witch religion. Interesting. So does, is, is that what Wikipedia is derived from? Some type of mm. witch stuff? Oh, fuck. Like an encyclopedia for witches? Dude. Interesting. I'm a really smart that. guy, Noah. He's a Very. smart guy. Tom's in charge. Tom's, Tom's in, in charge. charge. Tom's in charge. Tom's Hell in yeah, charge. Hell yeah, baby. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, yes. I know I did. Yeah, great. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. So that was awesome. Looking forward to the next one as always with my boys. Yeah. Hell yeah. We're new. Noah, always a pleasure, my we're, guy. We're, this is a new chapter for us. We got to, we're, we got to, we're really pumped up when we got coming on the docket for the Hell Yeah Pod. Coming so soon, dude. Tuned. Thank you guys for listening. This is fucking funny. like, subscribe, Let's share, go. and fucking jerk off to us.